the goodies. And on part two, we're going to try the goodies. So Let's you see start. how they taste. You want to do you peppermint last? It's up to you. Uh, what should we try? I want to try this first. Is that cool or That's no? That's the Twix. So it's Twix Winter Spice. Meet your new winter indulgence. This festive treat mixes the classic flavors of a Twix bar with a dash of cinnamon and ginger spice. Mmm. You know, if you're new to my channel, I'm honest and blunt. I don't sugarcoat. If I don't like something, I'm going to tell you. That smells really good. It kind of smells like Liebkuchen, a uh, German cookie, but then it also... It smells even more intense. So mm. this one, we, we cannot find it here in the States. Yeah, it's from the UK. I'm only eating little tiny pieces because there's a lot of candy and I had a Slurpee before this, so it has a lot of sugar in it. I like this a lot. I don't like this a little bit. I like this a lot. Like a whole lot. I know I don't like Twix. I think it tastes like cheap chocolate, but this one is really good. It definitely has that fall, mm. winter flavors, like pumpkin spice. And there's cinnamon in here. Mmm. That's what I like about it, the cinnamon. I like it. Mmm. Mm mm mm. I'm gonna try one. I'm gonna save it for later. Okay. So that's pretty good. I'm giving this a 9.8 out of 10. For me, it's an 8 out of 10 because I'm not too crazy about the pumpkin spice flavor. It's pretty good, though. What's next? Your favorite? Maltesers Reindeer. The only thing better than the delightful richness of this malted candy is when the silky chocolate is enrobed with slowly melts in your mouth. We already tried the regular Maltesers, and they're pretty good. I can get this open, right? Hello. They have their version here in the U.S. What do they call it? Is it Whoppers? No. Well, Whoppers is like, it's like if you have Pepsi, Co this is like Pepsi slash Coke. And then if you had generic soda from a cheap company, that would be Whoppers. It's a total different company, and it, it's like it's like comparing a steak to a hamburger. It's like comparing real Coke to generic yeah, Coke. Yeah, it's not good at all. No. Is it shaped like a reindeer? And we're going to find out. Aww, Pretty cute. that's cute. Like Rudolph. Let me see. Yeah. Rudolph the Red Nose Malteser. Take a bite first. Looks like peanut butter. Does it taste the same as the the balls, the Malteser balls? You better judge that because you've had Malteser better than me. I don't know. It's good. Mmm, I like the milk chocolate a lot. It tastes the same. Mmm. It tastes the same. So I okay. give that. I give that like a 8.9 out of 10. That's good. 10 out of 10 for me because I love Maltesers. And then, what's that? Cadbury Buttons. What would the holidays be without some delicious bite-sized pieces of famous Cadbury chocolate? This treat is simply irresistible and cute as a bottom. Thank goodness he's doing all the reading because I can't read. I barely passed high school. Hello. You can barely open that. It doesn't smell too bad. It doesn't smell as good as the, um, the Twix. And the Maltesers tasted good, but didn't have much of a smell, by the way. 
the one we just reviewed. But the chocolate was really good on that. So the Twix is cheap chocolate, but the flavor of the cookie was amazing. The Maltesers, inside good chocolate, really good quality milk chocolate, in my opinion. Now we're just doing milk chocolate. This tastes like a regular milk chocolate. Nothing special. Yeah, I agree. But it almost tastes bad. Like, this tastes better than like American chocolate, right? Just a little bit. Maybe one notch better. It's chocolate. Um, 6 out of 10 for me. I agree. But I do like this better than Twix chocolate. I scored that Twix high because of the cinnamon and <clears throat> spice. So, so far we've been trying <clears throat> chocolate. You want to try something different? You want to yeah. pick next? Maybe the gummies. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's, what is that? The Misky. Jup Zenka Misky. Ooh. This wonderfully fruity teddy bear shaped <clears throat> gummies are too cute to resist. Don't let their small size fool you. These bears are packed packed a big flavor. Let me try red one. Let me try a purple one. This is probably a grape. Mm. They're kind of kind of hard too. They're soft. They're not dried out, but they're kind of hard to chew. Let me try the red one. Probably strawberry. I've had better gummies. They don't taste bad. I just have better gummies. So it's just like, yeah, they're kind of there. Let me try another flavor. The yellow ones. Taste just like a regular gummy. Like the Haribo. I think Haribo tastes better. In my opinion. I give those like a 4.2 out of 10. They're not bad. They don't taste bad. They're just like, yeah. <clears throat> A 6 out of 10 for me. So now we have the real Haribo. Mmm, way strong. Like this, the, 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 the smell alone is like, whoa, way better. It's in German. Frohe Weihachten. <clears throat> the perfect snack for the most magical time of the year. This bag of festive shaped gummies features an assortment of complex fruity flavors. So some of them are clear and then some of them are clear and white on the bottom. It's probably like a marshmallow or something. My favorite Goodness is, they is, smell the, good. is the sour uh, gummies. I wonder if I've ever had sour gummies before. Yeah, you had it before. Mm, more softer than the other one. Still kind of chewy, but not as chewy. It's talking. There's not much flavor in this. Yeah. I'm disappointed. Is that supposed to be cherry? Let's try the Christmas tree. I don't really taste anything. It tastes gelatin with like barely any. I mean, anything even sweet. It's not that sweet. The this one, the mi misky, is better. The flavors are stronger in here. This smells better. Let's try another one. The star. Yeah. Hmm. Harbo, you disappointed me there. <laughs> yeah. This one is better. This misty. Mm -hmm. Is it from Germany too, or? I don't know. Okay. What's next? More chocolate. The, I'm excited about this one. What is that? 
with Ritter Sport. Ritter Sport. I had this when I was in Germany. Coco's Macaron. One bite never tasted so delicious. Enjoy a creamy coconut center met with a milk chocolate coating over the top for a decadent holiday treat. It's already melting. Well, it's hot. It's Christmas time and it's like 80 degrees here in Texas. Sorry, it mushed. I'm not like a huge Rita Sport fan, but I do like Rita Sport sometimes. You can really taste the coconut. Let me try it again. Mm, I wasn't expecting almost, that. It almost tastes like um, the uh, macaroons. It is. Not macarons. Macaroons. It is. Look at the picture on the top, on the front. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that makes sense. That is really good. Oh, that's why I guess German for coconut macaroons is Coco's macaron. That is really good. But it's really melted. So far, chocolate wise, my favorite, just chocolate itself, I think this is the best chocolate. This is my favorite flavor so far, even though the chocolate's cheap. And then. Oh, we didn't rate the Haribo. Did we oh, no, we didn't. I'm gonna give it's it like a two. Four. Four yeah. out of ten. And then. And, um, um, Redder Sport. Oh. The Coconut uh, macaron is um, that's a nine out of ten for me. I agree. That's why I'm getting another one. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. Let me put it on the floor. It might get cooler. The floor is dirty though, we haven't vacuumed yet. You want to open up one? So, this is called uh, Drydo uh, Oodles. That red sport is really good. Let me read this first Oodles Drydos, a big hit with kids during Hanukkah. The sweet and tangy fruit chews are loaded with flavor and come in unique dry the shape packaging. So I guess this this is from Israel. So they say it's popular during Hanukkah. Hanukkah. I think there are two flavors. There's another dreidel, one dreidel, there. dreidel. When that South Park episode dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. Dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. <laughs> yeah, here's another one. There are two packs oh that's interesting they're not completely round can you see that you know what it that reminds looks like me it looks like a lemon that's flattened and then colored blue what you know what it reminds me of the what? the dipping dots ice cream. oh yeah it does okay try that first it's made in china though so that's just what is that flavor? That is crazy. It's Blueberry? like, it says Belgium, but then it's made in China, but it's imported from Brooklyn. So it's imported from Brooklyn, made in China, but for Belgium. That's a Jewish holiday. That's, that's strange. So what flavor is that? Is that blueberry? It's supposed to be blueberry. This is uh, mixed. Tiny, tiny, tiny uh, fruity chews. See, it's it's well, it sticks to your teeth different quick. colors. Mmm, I must have sticking my teeth real quick. I don't know what it is, but I have some like talent where I can chew stuff a certain way so it doesn't stick to my teeth. And that stuck right mm. to my teeth. It tastes like Starburst. Mm. It tastes very chemical. Art artificial. Artificial chemical. Yeah, not a fan. Spit this out. No. It tastes um, like plastic. Yeah. 
Mmm. Mmm. I like that better than fruity mix. This doesn't have much flavor. I don't like the blue one. No, this blue, blue one? It's blue raspberry, not, okay. not blueberry. Hmm. What flavor? It's a 2 out of 10 for me. Um, if ever we have that here, I'm not going to get it. Mmm. I like the green one a little bit, and the red one more. And mixed together is good, but I don't like the blue one at all. I'm trying to put this back in here. Don't put it back in. I'll just throw it in the box. I'm picking it out later. I'm rolling down the window. It's getting hot in here. Sorry if you hear the cars go by, but Ooh, we just have a few more. Okay, what's gonna be? I actually have a lot more. <laughs> oh, we forgot the drink. The oh. box usually comes with the drink, but we put it in the refrigerator. I'll be right back. You want to get it? Uh, luckily we put in the fridge. But I am putting this right now. You have to wait to the very end to try that one. Because I heard some interesting stuff about that. So every crate. I crate, forgot, but I just remembered. Every crate comes with a drink. These are vegan. So what is that now? It's the Roan Trees Gummies. These soft little orbs of flavor from the UK are made with real fruit juice. We've included either the fruit pastilles or the random assortments. Would you like some? There comes that truck again. So when I hit pause, there was a truck behind us making this noise. Why? He needs to stop. He went down the road. Now he's coming back. Oh my God. Look at that. His tires are blown out. Why would you do that? I thought he was gonna stop somewhere. Uh, whatever. He cannot. It's it's dangerous just to press the brakes if you got a blowout tire. True. So I've already read about this last night, and um, I don't have high hopes for this because what I heard and saw about this. It sounds good, but then after I tried the green one. I don't know what that is. I think it's lime. Ah, sugar on there. Let's try the purple one. Probably great. It tastes exactly what the review said. Old fashioned gum drops. When I was a kid, we used to go to the movie theater. You get movie theater candy and they have gum drops. It tastes like that. But the gum drops I used to have didn't have sugar on the outside. That has sugar when I was a kid. I didn't like gumdrops. These are old-fashioned gumdrops, but with sugar on uh, on top, around it. Orange. It didn't taste bad, but it just tastes like old-fashioned cheap candy. The flavors are not very mm -hmm. strong. Out the window. I'll give it a, a four. I'll give it a one. It tastes cheap. What's next? Alpinella. Never heard Alpinella of this Alpinella chocolate. The lecture taste buds with chocolate made from the dairy found in the Alpine region of Europe. Enjoy either the milk chocolate, orange, or peanut variety. So I wonder what that is. How do you open this? This is not, is this child proof? <laughs> is there an instruction there? Mm-hmm. But it doesn't work. It just says pull down, but it won't pull down. Let me, Let me pause it so then I'll... All right, so this is what it looks like. It took us a while to open this. Alpinella chocolate. You want... 
Can you eat half that with you or you want two? I only want one piece. Well, what if I like it? Then I'm gonna oh, you didn't war. So that's how it looks like. Oh, well, different. That's different. It's dark. It's dark chocolate. Almost tastes like coffee. Like I'm tasting some coffee notes. Mm -hmm. Like cappuccino. Mm -hmm. I like it. It doesn't taste bad. It's better than most American chocolate. But I don't like it. It tastes cheap. It almost tastes like a, a Hershey bar. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just a little bit yeah. better. It's like a Hershey bar, but better. But Hershey's not good anyway, so. That's exactly, that would be perfect. That tastes exactly like a Hershey bar, but just a smidget better. That's it. I give that like a, a 1.3 out of 10. 1.5. I'll eat it. I like Hershey sometimes. So six out of ten for me. Well, I ain't gonna fight you over that. You can have the whole thing. He can taste this because I don't like this. I had this when I was in a kid and when I was in Germany. That is the Liebkuchen Breslin. Cozy up for the holidays with this traditional German snack. Featuring a chewy gingerbread pretzel coated with rich dark chocolate. So, FYI, I love the Liebkuchen. You can have the whole thing. I love the Liebkuchen. That's the cookie form with the white wafer on the bottom that you can eat. And when it's top, it's white, glazed. speckle, glazed. glazed. But I don't like the Liebkuchen that's covered in chocolate. And that's what that smells like. And it probably tastes like that because I remember having those when I was a kid in Germany. And as soon as I smelt it, I knew then. It's like, nope. I like them both. I give that like a... Point five. I, 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 I don't like it at all. And he's German. I'm not even German, but I like this. But the low score I'm scoring is not because it's low quality. It's because I don't like it. So if you like chocolate-covered Liebkuchen, I can't tell you if that's quality or not because I don't like it to begin with. So I'm it's, sorry about that. It's an 8 out of 10 for me. I love it. This is from Hawaii. Hawaii. You know, I actually was in Hawaii. I went to the island of Oahu years what ago. What is that called? People are so nice there. Candy cane cookies. Yeah. Jumpstart your holiday spirit with a bite of these fresh, crunchy Hawaiian shortbread cookies. Oozing with pieces of peppermint candy mm. cane. They smell okay, but they look really interesting. Look at that. You know those famous Amos cookies? They look like famous Amos, but with peppermint. But yeah, so I, I went to, um, my friend that's Hawaiian and she's like, when you go to Hawaii, they're going to call you a, a Howley or something like that. Basically, he's like, white boy. They were really nice in Hawaii. Like, those people are there. They were so nice. You don't get that many. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. Let's try Oh, kind of hard. Mmm. Mmm. The buttery. It's like butter cookies, and then they crush the candy cane, and then put it inside. I don't think they they go well together. Mm mm. They don't. Mm. No, I'm not a fan. They don't taste bad or horrible. It's just kind of like a. Not like super odd concept, but it's just kind of like, why, why would you do that? Like an afterthought. It's like, yeah. let's just throw some candy canes in a cookie and let's hope it's okay. Well, I guess to make it Christmassy. Yeah. Yeah, I love butter cookies, but mm. not with candy cane flavor. It's, yeah, I think it's a the... three out of ten for me. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I agree. <clears throat> That's what is that? The peppermint popcorn. You'll be feeling festive with every bite of this kettle cooked popcorn drizzled in sweet white and dark icing. Plus bits of peppermint flakes. What in the world is going on? 
should have brought scissors. Hello. <clears throat> I have to watch popcorn though because the kernels. When I was a kid, I could eat popcorn, but now this the the husk or whatever you call it. Sometimes like, like it sets my actually most of the time it upsets my stomach. Oh, they're I thought they were burnt. Look at that. I thought they were burnt. It's like chocolate. Oh, but a lot of these, if not all, oh, a lot of them are called um, mushroom shaped. Mm, this one I like. It's so buttery and like there's caramel in it. A drizzle of chocolate. I can barely taste the peppermint. This is supposed to be peppermint. Well, that's why flavor. I keep eating more because I'm like, where is it? To me, it just tastes like caramel popcorn. I like the chocolate that's though. Good, though. Let me try it again. I'm just throwing the husk out. Yeah, now I'm tasting some of the peppermint. Let me get a piece of peppermint on it. Yeah. Here's the one I think. Yeah, again, just like the um, butter cookies from Hawaii, I don't think peppermint goes well with popcorn. Yeah. Ew. That's gross. Okay, so... I ate like four or five of them. You just saw me, right? And I didn't have no gross face because I didn't get any peppermint. And I just picked one that has peppermint in it. Without the peppermint, that's really good. Mm -hmm. You said you taste more caramel. I taste a little bit of caramel, a lot of butter, and just a perfect amount of chocolate. But with the peppermint, it just totally just, just destro yeah. destroys it. Mm -hmm. it. Without the peppermint, it would have been a, like a nine out of ten. Thing. Yes. But with the peppermint, it's... Two. I'll, I'll give it a two. This is the last one. And then we're going to do the drink. So that's the Milka Santa Claus. This Santa-shaped stocking stuffer is produced with the same rich and decadent alpine milk chocolate that led Milka to fame in 1901. So where is Milka from? Is it from Switzerland? I don't know. This is France. I can't be right. Does it really look like Santa? Yeah. Oh, it's hollow. Oh yeah, they're all they're always hollow. You want to just because I don't want a lot. Melts quick. But how many people haven't had hollow? Mmm. You know why I think this is good? Because in America, when I see a hollow bunny or a hollow Santa Claus, I already think it's palm. Have you ever had Palmer chocolate? It's really crappy and cheap. So it's reminiscent like, oh, it's going to taste creep. Not good. Mmm. It tastes like Cadbury for some reason. A little bit. Really? Mm -hmm. Like those Cadbury buttons? No, not the bottoms, but you know, just the regular, mm, the like regular chocolate bars. Mmm. Mmm. <clears throat> it's a uh, seven out of ten for me. It's, it's so okay, very but sweet. Not too crazy about it. Yeah, it's very sweet. I like sweets. So that's all the sweets. So the last one will be the drink. My we, favorite for so drink far. A lot of water first. Is the Twix not the chocolate part of the Twix, but like the flavor? I was blown away by that cinnamon and all the spices in there. For me, I think the the Ritter, um, what is it called the Ritter Sport, the the macaron. Mm, macaron yeah, actually, yeah. I don't know if that's maybe that could be Thai with yeah. for me. What's your least favorite thing? <laughs> the. Um, what do you the Chinese the candy. Oodles, yeah, the oodles from the dreidel Israel. thing. Yeah, the yeah. dreidel. Yeah. 
so that is called uh, Jelmust Soda. A true Swedish, Swedish holiday favorite, this unique soda is blended with the perfect mix of lively Coca-Cola and refreshing root beer flavors. That all smells like cleaning fluid. Oh, that smells like something you would clean with. I don't know if it's I can nice even drink. Can, that smells though. like something you would clean with. The can is so festive. That stinks. You want to taste it first? You, I don't even. That to me, that smells like a cleaning fluid. Baby Yoda glass, just like my hat. Yeah, he loves Ooh. Baby Yoda. Doesn't that taste smell like cleaning <laughs> fluid? It doesn't smell good at you all. Know, Let me try. I, I, I picture a dirty floor. In a, in a restaurant and some someone cleaning the floor with the dirt and the cleaner at the same time. I can smell like the dirty floor and the cleaner like... It's not good. <laughs> it reminds me a little bit of lychee though. Don't you like lychee? I love lychee, lychee. Yeah, but it's <laughs> not good. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna try to drink some more because maybe I'm, you know, maybe I'm like trying to, like, I'm missing it. You know, like blue cheese, it's like, well, you just gotta, it's like an acquired taste. Let me see. Mm. I'll, I'll, I'll drink straight from the can. Mm. Let me see if it will mm -mm. make a difference. Mm -mm. That smells like cleaner fluid. Like, I never had cleaner fluid, but you know, how you smell something, mm -hmm. you kind of remind you, like, I think I know what that tastes like. It tastes like it smells like someone's gonna mop the floor with that. And it's not fizzy. It, it doesn't taste like a well. I don't know if it. If, that is nasty. If this is supposed to be a soda, but it's not fizzy at all. So it doesn't remind me of Coke or root beer. So it's that's like, the worst it's thing. It's more like um a prune juice. A mix between a prune juice and uh, lychee, but the flavor is just so watered down that you know. I can see you that you can barely taste anything. Prune juice and lychee. Yeah. yeah. So the worst thing in here. It's a, it's a zero for me. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna get. Mine is a negative ten. <laughs> negative ten. So the worst thing in here is that soda for me. Yeah, me too. Then the 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 blueberry dreidel. For me, the with, oodles, the oodles, the stores, and my favorite thing among the candies for me would be it's the coconut. Um, I can't stress enough that I normally don't like twicker macaroons for me. Mm -hmm. And then for me, my favorite thing is is I can't stress enough that I normally don't like Twix and it's cheap American chocolate. However, the cookie I can't get over the spices in that cookie. So because of that, that is actually going to be my favorite, but it's going to a close tie with the just like his first favorite is the winter, winter sports, winter sports, winter like whatever that is, winter whatever that I don't know, know, which is the macaroon, and then my third favorite would probably be the Maltesers, and that Alpine chocolate I I thought it was tasted cheap. So all in all, how would you rate this entire crate? Not very this high because I, the Twix, the Winter Sport, the Maltesers. Yeah, there's actually only a few items that we, we scored high. I only like basically three things from Me here. Too, three, yeah. And there was things I hated and that was the popcorn with the peppermint, that nasty soda, the blue dreidel. The two gummy bears, which didn't have no flavor, and the Hara Bro was the worst, which is in the, the Liebekuhl gun, and the buttons just tasted like cheap chocolate. That milk Santa was pretty good, though. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give it a 3 out of 10. For, for the, the whole for box? The whole box. I agree. 3 out of 10. Until next time, please comment, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon when you do subscribe so you'll be notified when I come out with new videos. And I also accept food requests, but only to my subscribers. And until next time, 
Merry Christmas. Bye. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.